Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, um, a, a neighbour of my bro was throwing away this old rotten bench. So I thought it would be a great idea to bring it home and like, fully restore it. So all the wood was completely rotten and it needed to be replaced. But the metal, the metal work of the bench was all fine. So uh, I thought I could probably bring this back to um, pretty much new. As you can see there, the whole thing, all the wood, it's been outside in the garden a long time and it's really rotten. So the first job was a sort of long, bit of a boring, awkward process of dismantling the whole thing because all the bolts and screws had rusted so they were quite difficult to get off. So as you can see there I'm using a maintenance spray, spraying on all the bolts and screws just to loosen them up a bit, um, just to provide a little bit of movement so I can start taking them all out. Again, as, a, as usual, my plan here was to use as much recycled material as I could and all the wood that I used on this project is actually a packet wood. So there I'm just starting to remove the back piece and that is just like um, a square trellis panel. I think it's cast iron and that's held on by some screws. wore gloves for this because there was a lot of sharp bits and splinters and things and the wood was quite mouldy so I didn't want to touch it too much. So you can see I'm on underneath the bench now and there's a central, I suppose you could call it a stretcher or a support, like a metal support which attaches to every slat of the bench and I'm going to remove that and then there's two side supports as well which stops the bench going one way or the other sort of falling in on itself or splaying outwards. And now I'll start on the uh, all the bolts. So they were quite fiddly to get off a lot of these bolts because they were quite quite rusted. Um, I'd estimate the bench has probably been sat out someone's garden for at least 10 years to, to become that rotten. And again, I'm just removing the screws and bolts. You can see a lot of that wood is just crumbling. And with some of the bolts I just couldn't get the nuts off so I had to use a hacksaw and because they were quite old these bolts they, they cut relatively easily so it wasn't too bad. And there you can see all that rotten wood, so I'll burn that when I get a chance. It's probably full of like um, spores and mould. So now I'm just giving the metal work a clean up. Uh, I'm scraping off any like bits of glue or, or paint that look flaky. And then I'm just going to give it a light sanding as well.
And uh, when that was finished, I just got some soapy water and gave everything a rinsing off, cleaning. Because <clears throat> there was years of, of dirt and, and rust and things. And then I just gave it all a rinsing down. So to paint this uh, this metal work, I chose a colour called Buckingham Green. It's a really dark, old traditional green. It looks really nice in the garden. And because the bench was already green, I thought that it would provide a nice undercoat. The sort of sanded down old paints would provide a nice base for this new paint, which was a similar colour. And I thinned it down with some uh, white spirit, just to not make it nice and flowy. And in the end, I gave it all two coats. This was probably the most time consuming part. Just because there's so many surfaces, like nooks and crannies. And I did both sides of those main parts of the bench, so it did take quite a while. So the next thing to do was to start on the wood. I used some of the old rotten wood as a, as a guideline, as like a template, to find out the thickness that I needed. And I put that on the table saw, just so that I could get my table saw set up, ready to cut the pieces. And this bench is uh, four foot wide, which is around 120 centimeters wide. So I had to use some really long pallet slats. So I started on the wood for the back of the bench. And uh, this is also for the back, this is the two side pieces. And again, I used them old pieces as a template and then cut them out on the mitre saw. I'm just showing there. How I got them set up on the table saw to cut them the correct width, just using the old piece of wood. So now I'm just cutting to length the, uh, the two main parts for the back of the bench. Now I just give it all a test fit and I just mark up some reference points with a pencil just for later on so that when I come to assemble it I know where everything should be.
and then gave it all a really good sanding down. And the pieces that face outwards, the pieces that you'll come into contact with when you sit on the bench, I rounded the ends over just to make it nice and smooth and the back I left it square. Now be careful if, if you go to um, restore a bench with pallet wood or like a soft wood, um, like, like a pine, like what I'm using, just um, have a feel of the wood just to make sure that it's it's got the strength in it because ideally you'd want to use a hardwood um, but that's obviously quite a bit more expensive and it's more difficult to find for free so the only thing I had was this I think it's pine but like a faster growing kind of wood it isn't the strongest so just be be careful of that And be careful of the knots as well. And one piece that I cut, it had a knot right in the middle and it really weakened it so I had to use a different piece. So you can see um, I stained it there with some teak stain and uh, it gave a nice colour. I could have gave it more coats to darken the colour but I, I thought it looked nice just like that so I left it. And now I'm just attaching those pieces of wood to the back and you can see there I'm using some self-tapping screws which I later changed um, I put some thicker wood screws in there because it did, just didn't feel like it was giving it enough support so um, I put some screws in with thicker shafts And now it was on to the, uh, the seat of the bench, which comprised of, I think, five pieces, five lengths of wood. And there you can see I've got five lengths of wood. As I say, be careful where the knots are, um, because it can weaken it. And what I did is, anywhere there was a knot, I did force some wood glue into the cracks. And I think one of them I clamped it up to strengthen it. So now I'm just uh, collecting some sawdust and I'll use that later on to fill in any nail holes in the wood. And then five pieces, I'm just cutting them to the correct length now. And again, just giving them a good sanding down. And you can see there's plenty of nail holes in that wood. So I'm going to have to fill those in. Ideally, like I say, if I'd have had some oak, some really hard wood, I would have used that. So uh, I'm going to use uh, some of the sawdust that I've collected and some PVA glue, mix that up and then fill those holes. As I said at the beginning of the video, the aim here was to restore this bench for zero cost, as close to zero cost as possible, just part of the challenge, it makes it more fun. You can always go out and buy the wood if you like, and buy all the ideal equipment, 
I just like to try to do it uh, with the recycled materials. It's just to, for me to be more satisfying. So now I'm lying out those, um, laying out those pieces of the bench ready for staining. This actually took quite a while because I had to stain it both sides and do two coats. And if, if you know what the ideal wood is for a bench, or whether it's oak, or any whatever sort of hardwood it is, uh, please let me know in the comments. So now those pieces are ready to go on. So now I'm just lining up those um, the two sides of the bench, the two uprights, just lining them up with the back to make some marks so that I know where to attach the uh, drill holes and for the bolts to connect it all together. And I just bought a pack of uh, standard sort of bolts. Now it's just time to assemble it all. So the back is on. I'm just going to put those uh, seat parts on. And they all need to be bolted on as well. Now I'm just marking up the areas where those support pieces are going to go, the central brace and then the two side supports. And for that I'll just use some self tapping screws.
So there it is all finished. Uh, I was really pleased in the end how it turned out. It did take a while, but um, it was worth it in the end because it's practically brought it black to like a new bench. All new wood, nicely painted metal. And um, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, then uh, please uh, remember to give me a like. And if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, also consider subscribing for more videos. So I'll see you next time.